What's going on traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. And of course, I hope you're having a good trading week. Um, I've only taken one trade this week on USD CAD. I think I shared that with you guys on Monday. Um, but Tuesday and today, which is Wednesday, no trades for me. Um, didn't really like the market conditions yesterday. And uh, coming towards the end of the month, the USD CAD 3R win for me was pretty much what I needed. Um, all I wanted, to be honest with you. I mean, I guess you want more um all the time but you've got to curb that and uh i think if i com compare the two possible outcomes take another trade take a loss or simply take no more trades and be content i know what i'm going for i'm ready for august, august though <clears throat> I believe it's going to be a really good month so let's see what's happening but today i'm going to be discussing with you just one of the fundamental principles that i follow as a trader um in identifying um, behavior changes in the market that have really aided towards me um, getting high probability trading setups. Now, this ain't specific to any strategy. So this has no close ties with patterns, with reversals, with continuations. It is just a thought process and principles that you can adopt or think about um, before you decide to take a trade. And uh, of course, there are other confluences that are added to these ideas, which we're not going to have enough time to go over today, but you will get the point when it comes to entries. And of course, I hope this serves you well. So um, before we start the video, I just want to say if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, please consider subscribing. Um, if you do enjoy this video, hit that like button for me. It only takes you a second, but it does a lot for the channel and sharing the content and uh, turn on notifications, guys, for when I next post a video. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Now, first thing I want to talk about is the theory behind the depletion continuation. Now, the idea is this, um, and it's pretty simple to be honest with you. But let's say the market's in a downtrend and we're seeing really strong bearish momentum candles pushing to the downside. Now, once we start to see the size of the candles getting smaller and smaller, that is an indication to us that the volume and or momentum in the market is starting to deplete. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the market is going to reverse. That doesn't necessarily mean that the market is not going to continue pushing down. And that doesn't mean you should get stuck on the idea that you shouldn't continue to sell and now start looking for buyers. But what we're looking for as a trader is for a shift in that momentum. And how we usually find that shift in momentum is when we start to identify an area in the market where price is failing to break. So let's say we see candles trying to break to the downside and create a continuation of that movement, but then the market stays above this level. This is what we start to, or this is when we start to add those confluences to the idea that the shift in this bearish momentum is now depleting which is this movement here, and the directional bias is potentially trading, uh, sorry, changing. Now, there's one or two things you can do here, and it's very simple theory. So if you're new to trading, this shouldn't come as a surprise to you. But let's say the market is in a downtrend and we have, let's say, a lower high and a structural low. Um, let me just remove this one, a structural low. Now, price has made this new low, and what we're anticipating, if we're going to continue in a downtrend, is a lower high continuation. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing you here. So what that simply means is we expect price to come back to this level. In order for price to come back to this level, it's going to have to have a pullback before the continuation. And that is when we can then start to use these fundamental principles to aid in us in our decision making when it comes to looking for this continuation of this bearish movement and potential continuation of this bullish movement here. So once we have this shift, what we have is a behavioral change off the back of a depletion, a failure to break a structural low, a new shift in bullish momentum, and what we're anticipating, I'm using so many different lines here, what we're anticipating is a continuation of that shift in bullish momentum simply in line with how a trend forms, which is lower high, lower high continuation. So this now becomes a lower high continuation. So this is why I said, I don't want you to look at this as being a reversal per se. I want you to see this more as a 
as structure forming in this kind of fashion, which is simply bearish momentum, depleting, failing to break a structural low, a shift in bullish momentum, cancelling out this bearish momentum in anticipation of a continuation of that bullish momentum in line with the downtrend that creates a pullback, lower high continuation, which then you see this move here. And I'm going to share three examples with you based on these fundamental principles that you can have in the back of your mind. We can also do this on the reverse as well for sales. And um, this one is for buys. But we'll take a look at an example now for a sell. And this is a trade that I took on Monday. Now you can see here, and as I said, high time frames do play a part in this, but you'll see this from an intraday perspective. We have this bullish momentum. We have a structural high in the market. We have an, uh, a higher low in this formation. And then what we start to see here in this formation is that pullback higher low in anticipation of the new higher high, a structural high where we're failing to break and a shift in bearish momentum. Now, some of you might say, well, Rox, why did you take your sell after this candle? Well, as I said, there's other factors. Even if we took the sell after this candle, it's completely fine. But don't get too caught up in trying to catch me out here um, because I'm very consistent with how I trade and how I think about trading. So if the trade is going to be a winner, fantastic for an example. If it's going to be a loser, fantastic for an example. What we don't want to do is closely associate a loss to being bad and a win to being perfect. We want to understand that if we're consistent with our process, we make sure we're following the rules and nothing but the rules or the plan, regardless whether it's a win or a loss, it doesn't matter. It's still a great trade. So I took the trade here um, or around this area. Um, I took it a little bit lower, but we're just going to use this as an example. And here we're just going to go on to illustrate what it is we're looking for. So just for the record here, let's just highlight this again. We have bullish momentum. We have a structural higher low. This, of course, is a retest area. After a retest, we anticipate a higher high in line with an uptrend, a structural high, price failing to break the structural high. So this is a depletion in this bullish sentiment and a shift in momentum in anticipation of that continuation bearish. What do we do? We execute the trade in anticipation of this going down. Again, I'd like to highlight win or lose. This doesn't matter. We are focusing on the process here. Now, this can be done in many different fashions. And I want to share this with you again on the same chart so that you don't just think that um, we cherry picked the great, uh, the best trades here. But we start to see it from this example as part of the continuation. We have bullish momentum, a higher low, a structural retest level in the market, bearish momentum. Now we start to see a failure to break a structural low. This is a depletion in the bearish sentiment in anticipation of a continuation higher high in line with the uptrend that we see here. In terms of this trade, you always want to be careful of management levels because price does not need to break the structural highs. So if you were going for a one to two or one to three, that's completely fine but you always want to have it in the back of your mind. You're prepared to take profits, scale your trade in, um, or set your trade to break even. Again, fundamental principles, bullish sentiment, high or low, structural high retest area in the market, bearish momentum, depletion in bearish momentum, shift in the continuation of the bullish momentum in anticipation for price to continue bullish. Okay? It's that simple. So this is example number one. Let's look at an example another example on GJ. So here we have, again, a very similar example. We have a bearish momentum. We have a structural low in the market. Now, at this time, we would perceive this to be the new lower low. We wouldn't know that price was breaking back in at this point in time, but we're not worried about that. Let's say we come to our charts and this is what we identify. So we have a break back into the structure. Once we have a break back into structure, I want to make it very clear. The break back into the structure is the new low of the structure. But if price breaks back into the structure and holds above it, then you hold the previous level that it just broke. So now we have this break back into structure. 
We have this bearish momentum. We don't necessarily have a depletion here, but what you will see with this example is we have price again attempting to break this structural low and then look at the volume and momentum that shifts back into the market after this candle close. If you want to take the trade after this, this is completely fine. An extremely strong pattern in the market to be trading based on bearish momentum. In line with the downtrend, a low, failing to maintain that structural low, a break back in, bearish momentum, again attempting to break with a shift back into structure. Guys, this is not me making this up. This is what happens in the markets every single day on every single time frame. I focus on behavior more than anything else. I don't focus on strategies. I don't focus on anything specific like break and retest, Fibonacci's, EMAs, all these fancy um, concepts out there with terminologies and different whatever you want to call them, slogans. Like I just want to make this clear. Then the next year it will change, and the next year it will change, and the next year it will change. What, what you can't argue with is that price does repeat itself. And if you can read the behavior of the market using the other pairs to identify the sentiment of the market, understand strengths and weaknesses and the behaviors, and identify synchronization in the market, guys, you're winning. Just trust me, you're winning. So let's just say somebody says this is not a trade because we didn't have the depletion, whatever. That's fine. I would say that's fine to agree. Um, that's fine not to take the trade if you don't want to. But I just want to illustrate to you that what we're looking for is a behavioral shift. Let's say, though, we didn't take this trade. And what we are waiting for is this, which is a depletion in this bearish sentiment. So we've identified a structural low, uh, low being broken broken back into structure, attempted to break again, a shift in bullish momentum, now a shift from bearish to bullish. Now we are respecting the previous structure with bearish momentum, depletion, shift in bullish momentum. Let's say you don't want to go in here because you're looking for a nice pin bar or a bullish candle close, then it's up to you. But again, we have the same behavior, same thought process, same fundamental principles that we're following here just to identify potential trading setups that could work in our favor. OK, that's simple. Let's look at one more example here on Euro Yen. Um, no, we just done a buy and a sell. Let's leave it at that. Um, so let's just understand this again um, here on USD CAD. The, uh, this was a buying opportunity. Here, which is the selling opportunity, which I took live um, on Monday with my community. I actually got a one to three from this. So this was the live. Uh, sorry, this was the first trade we looked at. Cool. Bullish momentum, depletion, shift in, um, shift in bullish momentum to bearish momentum, anticipating a continuation. Here we have a shift in bearish momentum bit more complicated here breakout break back in shift in bullish momentum new high respecting structure depletion shift from bearish to bullish momentum again and uh, a continuation so that is it if i was you i'd go back at the start take some notes go and look at your charts and look at this again you can take this as reversals continuations you can take these from supply demand zones you can take these from key levels you can take them from anywhere you want just make sure that this is not the holy grail. This is just simply a thought process that you can adopt. If you add in other confluences in the market, using currency strength and weakness, identifying momentum and volume, identifying the sentiment of the market and those synchronizations, then you have a winning concept. But again, it is not your strategy that is going to make you a great trader. It is the way you think about your trading, the way you approach your trading consistently and how you accept those results. It simply is being patient, disciplined, consistent and avoiding doing dumb shit. So that's me. Simple lesson, something for you to think about. And uh, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that like button for me. Turn on notifications, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as I always say, continue to trust the process.